Hey guys, what's up? This is Rage, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sort of basic intro. So this is around about what I will be making and showing you guys today. Okay, let's play this. Sort of pretty cool, basic, sort of simple on the program Cinema 4D. Okay. So there's a different version, but here we will go. A new file. So, first we need to add a floor. Click on the floor, chord, make this 10, doesn't really matter. Make this 10. That just sort of expands it a bit. Have a quick render view. Yeah, basic floor, you know. Um, Okie doke. First thing is first. We need to add a MoGraph. We need to add Mo Text. Now, if you hold Alt or Option, and then you can sort of pan around a bit. And yeah, so you click on Mo Text, go Object, Text. I'm going to be going Rage. Productions, because of course that's my channel. Go subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to be using the font Xrod. So up here, zoom out a bit. Oh, and another thing, what you have to do as soon as you open a new f file of Cinema 4D, you go render settings, uh, output. And you would want to go 1280 by 720. And yep. And then that just expands it a bit. So, first thing, get out camera angle so we can see it. Move this over. Range productions. Let me just get a better angle. Oh, my bad. Command Z. And move it over a bit. I'm just assuming that you guys know a bit about Cinema 4D. So, yep. Okay, let's add our first material. So, double click over here. Double click. Click on this. Color. I want mine about a sky blue, so about there. Brightness, the reflection, turn it down a bit. I want that nice reflecting sort of look. And there we go. Drag that on. And we want to add another one. So we do want the colour, a different colour. This will be the second colour that you'll you'll see in the end, you'll see. Luminance about Add the luminance about the same colour. Turn it down. This is sort of the glow, the light. And drag the green in front. Sorry. <coughs> oh, bless me. Okay, so the floor we probably want. Let's have a quick look. Render view. Looks pretty decent. It's alright. Uh, zoom out a bit. Now, what we want to do is Motex, uh, let's see, we want the depth, zoom in a bit here, we want the depth about there, just using my mouse scroll here. Okie doke. Uh, we'll also add a cap, a filler cap, the end of it, a filler cap, and that just sort of gives it a bit more the curved sort of edges or jagged edges, of course, depending. So, another look, pretty good. 
Um, so, we're going to have to select Motex. We want to go Plugins, Thorus. Oh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's a plugin. It's everywhere. Just download it. You know, it's everywhere. I'll put a link in the description if you want. Um, yeah. Okay. Click on it. We want about 30 pieces. Randomize the seed. Break it. So what this is doing is just splitting it up. And you will see why in a minute. Do 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 do. This is basic. Of course, you can change everything, customize it however you want it, etc. Um, yeah. So, better get stuck into it. It's already been about six minutes. A bit of a sniffly nose, it's winter, so. Yeah. Nearly done. It's breaking up the floor now. Okie doke. Now we have all this random stuff. What we want to do is, while that's all selected, go MoGraph, Effector, sorry, MoGraph, Effector, Random, and just tick all these boxes. Dum -dum -dum -dum. And as you can see, it doesn't look that good, but when random is selected, you can choose the strength. So it goes down a bit, up a bit. Let me just zoom in a bit here. So the best option, actually, let's pick a different seed. The seed is just how it's cracked, so it doesn't really matter too much, but. Actually, we want this to zero. And where is it? We want all these set to trigger on collision. Okie doke. So that would mean when something hits it, it would break. Oh, whoops. Bit of lag happening, sorry guys. Get a bit of camera angle, zoom in, move across. Okie doke. So, go for simulation tags, collider body. So then when the text breaks, it doesn't fall straight through. It will sit there like a solid floor. And let's see, what else do we need? Of course we need the subscribe to hit it. Okay. Um, no text. I like this, put a cap, fill a cap, fill a cap, object. Put this as subscribe. Okay, move this up and make it the same text. Doesn't really matter if it's the same text or not, but I prefer it to be. Okie doke. Now, we probably want. A nice, make a new material. We probably want a nice colour. So, we do want the luminance up a bit. We want a tiny bit of reflection. Or oh, a fair bit of reflection, actually. And a colour, okay. 
doesn't really matter what colour. I'm going for a nice lime green. Um, luminance, put another, about, try and get the same green. So then it's sort of reflecting the same thing. That's done. And pretty important, mode text. We need to bring up the depth a fair bit. So then when it falls on, it doesn't fall over, it stays there. And of course we need to go Motex, Simulation Tags, Rigid Body, that means it can fall now. And quick little demo, press play, it falls down, and smashes. But as you can see, it falls over. And we probably want this. Oh, stop, move across. Let me just check how long we've been going for. Okay, 11 minutes. Move it over. We're finishing up here. Ah, uh, yes. I think we are pretty much done. Mm, uh, what else? We put a filler cap on this. You can fiddle around. Oops. You can fiddle around with the rigid body. Oh my god. The mass, rotation mass, the force, the softness, and all this. I prefer to just keep it as normal. I think it looks effective. And yes, we'll put this up so it's out of the screen. And then you get a bit of a view. Actually, move it and tilt it up. Move this down. And let's play Rage Productions. Hurry up and pull. Let's stop it there, have a quick look at the rendering. Oh, that looks really good. I've got one more thing I need to do. Actually, two more things. We need to increase the depth. And zoom out. We'll put this down further. And zoom back in. Up a tiny bit. Quick render. Very good. Play. Subscribe coming down. And as you can see, it just smashes it. I'm um, not sure what just happened, but... Okay, the very last thing we need to do... You could have done this first, doesn't really matter. Um, Colour... Make it... Nice white. Oh, it'll probably turn out to be grey, but... Anyway... Reflection, we want this like 50. Now, what you will see with it being like this the reflection, it will reflect. So, oh, haven't put it on. How stupid. Okay, render view, and as you can see, it gives it this nice finish with the reflection. So, yeah. And then, of course, you want to render it, etc. But I have shown you the basics of showing you a bit on how to use Cinema 4D, my first Cinema 4D tutorial. And yeah, looks pretty effective. It's alright, I guess. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.
like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm I'm doing a fair bit of tutorials. I'm doing Minecraft tutorials, Call of Duty, Black Ops 2 mainly. Um yeah, so thanks for watching and see you later.